Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and in today's video, we're going to be talking all about the weird things that I noticed after losing 150 pounds. If you didn't know, I have lost 150 pounds over the course of a year and a half. I met my goal weight of losing 150 pounds January of 2019. So it has been a year since I reached my goal weight. And over the course of losing weight, I would jot down little things that I noticed that were like weird or that I was able to do that I couldn't do before after losing that much weight. I figured I would go ahead and share with you guys. It's kind of like a little bit of a weight loss motivation video. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. All right, guys. So I am going to be looking down at my phone because I have everything jotted down. Let me just go ahead and preface this whole video with this is probably going to be like graphic and personal. The first thing is that it's easier to shave. So obviously when you don't have a giant stomach, it's easier to bend down and shave your legs without getting like winded, right? Whenever I was bigger, I wasn't able to like bend down and shave my legs. I would literally like hike my leg up on the side of the shower to like shave it, which I'm flexible, but bending down was very difficult for me. So easier to shave is definitely a big one that used to be like a giant task, which is still a giant task, but it was really a giant task being, you know, 150 pounds overweight. It's easier to paint my toenails. Before, I was not able to bring my knee up to my chest at all to paint my toenails. Like, I used to have my roommate or my friends paint them, or I would go and get them done at a nail salon because I could not do them on my own literally at all. I couldn't even clip my toenails on my own at all. People pop into your DMs like crazy, like absolute crazy. And I don't know if it's because, like some of them are people that I know like from the past, obviously. And I don't know if it's because like my profile pictures are different or what it is, but even strangers will message me like way more often out of the blue. Like I still, you know, used to have people message me out of the blue, but like I really have people message me out of the blue now. And honestly on Facebook and stuff like that, I swear to you, I get like random guys adding me on Facebook, like literally like three or four people a day. And I'm just like, where's like, where's this coming from? Like this never happened before. People try to set you up more. This is really weird, right? So like back in the day, whenever I was like single and overweight and everything, I, I still like dated people. Like I never had issues like dating people and like things like that. But now I've noticed that people more openly will like try to set you up with people. Like, oh, I have a friend for you. Where like, it's like, didn't you have that friend a year and a half ago when I was overweight. You know what I mean? I don't know. So that's another thing that I have noticed big time. So I wrote this down that I could feel my hip bones. So this was in the middle of like my weight loss journey. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I can feel my hip bones. You know, like I wasn't able to do that before. Like I could also feel my rib, like, you know, my rib cage and stuff like that. Or like I could feel it like from here. And that was never a thing before that. So I was like, holy crap, I can feel my hip bones. Like, oh, what a thought. There are bones under there. Another one is not being as hot all the time. So I used to be like, hot okay like hot hot like i would keep my house on like 65 people would come over and like literally be like bundled up in hoodies and onesies and jackets and never take them off because my house was so cold because i was always hot especially going to sleep like getting in bed i would always be like so hot so i would turn the ac all the way down as well as going outside in the winter i would wear flip-flops i would not wear jackets because i was always 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 hot and now i feel like I'm always cold. My feet would fall asleep from being cold all the time. So this doesn't happen as much anymore, but like this last winter that we just had, my feet would fall asleep like all the time from being cold. So I don't know if it was like a poor circulation thing because I'm not dealing with that anymore now. But yeah, I noticed this time last year, my feet were like falling asleep all the time. And it was because it was so cold outside and I wasn't wearing like proper shoes that my like toes and stuff would fall asleep. It was weird. I also stopped snoring. So I used to be a horrible snorer. Like you could hear me breathing when I was asleep. Like my roommate would even say like, she wouldn't even have to come close to my door and she would know that I'm asleep because I snore or I like I was breathing really, really loud. That was one of the first things that stopped whenever I probably lost the first like 50 pounds. I stopped snoring. I do not snore at all now. So that's good. Cause that's not cute. Also, I found a dimple. You may not be able to see it, but I'm telling you, I have one. Can you see like the tiny little, like you can see it in sun lighting. 
I swear there's a dimple there, okay? So another one is kind of like wrinkles. Like I can tell around my eye area. You probably can't tell because I have makeup on and stuff like that, but I can tell that because my face isn't as filled out with fat, now it's like, like my skin was kind of stretched when I was overweight. So then whenever I lost weight, it's like my face kind of like hollowed out a little bit. And so now I feel like I have like a little bit of crow's feet. I never had like wrinkles or anything like that before, but it just looks like a little less filled in and like the skin is kind of not as tight there because it's not as filled in so I feel like I definitely have like some crow's feet going on right here whereas I did not have that before because I feel like my face is so full and fat so also I used to have major food allergies so that's how I originally found out that I had an autoimmune disease and if you are experiencing for the first time in your life random food allergies where you're randomly allergic to things you need to look into healing your gut and into the fact that you might have an autoimmune disease because that is how the majority of autoimmune diseases start because that's the first sign of leaky gut that's for another video another time so i used to have random food allergies and i no longer had that i had random reactions to carrots apples watermelon asparagus celery like the most random things that i ate my whole life now that i have lost weight and healed my leaky gut i no longer have those allergies so another thing is people always 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 ask your advice they're like oh my gosh like i literally just had a friend yesterday message me i really need to lose 20 pounds but i have no time to work out what do i need to do so people always ask your advice they're like you know tell me your secret and then when you tell them they don't do it they like they don't want to do it. oh that's too hard uh, and honestly it gets really frustrating because you like spend the time explaining especially with me because i recommend like the aip diet or paleo and i actually explain the science behind it and why that's what i believe and the amount of research that i've done and everything of that nature it's honestly really frustrating whenever you spend that amount of time explaining that to someone and they're just like mm too hard. People say all the time is, wow, you must feel so much better. And for me, I didn't like that because I was looking for the solution of my overweight ness all the time. Okay. I did not eat right. I did not exercise like I was supposed to. Okay. But it's because I was so defeated because for so long in high school, I was working out all the time. I was dieting all the time. I was never able to lose weight. I was always overweight graduated in high school they told me i had pcos and i was like okay and how do i fix it they're basically like nope just go on birth control you're fine and so i was like okay and continued to gain and gain and gain and gain and gain and then i kind of just like gave up there towards the end and that's why i ended up being over 300 pounds to me i was always looking for the answer i was always like why am i not able to lose weight i finally found that answer with my holistic doctor and i fixed everything and ate how i was supposed to be eating but i didn't necessarily feel like oh you know what I mean like you expect to feel like obviously I look better but in my mind I was always trying to like find the answer to my problem so like even though yeah I felt better it was just kind of like it was kind of like whenever I hear people say oh you know you must feel so much better that I was just like so horrible before you know what I mean and it's like that wasn't the case I just wanted to lose weight and know what was wrong with me. I've also had people not recognize me in public, like people that I know, like people that I know well, but haven't seen for an extended period of time, like in the grocery store, I'd be like, oh, hey. And they're looking at me like, and they're like, oh, I didn't even recognize you. That's happened on more than one occasion, like in the grocery store. My periods got a lot more regulated, so TMI, but periods were like non-existent. And once I lost the weight, they were more regular. They weren't completely regular. They were still like 40 day cycles instead of 28. Definitely way, way more regular. I wasn't even getting them on my own at all. So I've also had more intense PMS while we're on this subject. My boobs get like insanely sore like a week and a half before my period and they never got like that before and then my cramps for the first day are like way worse than they normally were so i used to have this ankle i rolled my ankle like three years ago and completely tore all the tendons and ligaments under it and it used to hurt all the time okay like all the time like i went to physical therapy for it and whenever i would walk long long distances for exercise i would have to wear an ankle brace and now that i have all that weight off it does not ever hurt knock on wood <laughs> it literally never hurts so another thing people always ask you how you lost the weight and then proceed to tell you what diet they think is best so they'll be like hey you know what did you do to lose weight and i'm like oh i did the aip diet it's basically paleo and they'll be like oh i think keto is the best oh did you lose 100 50 pounds ma'am okay I feel like honestly and genuinely I have 
body dysmorphia disorder or at least some version of it. I feel like it's getting better, but a lot of times I will look in the mirror and feel like I look a giant. Okay, and I'll be like, I don't look like I lost weight at all, but clearly I lost 150 pounds. Clearly I'm wearing size medium shirts. Clearly I lost a massive amount of um, pant sizes. Like I went from a pant size 22 and I'm in a 10 now and I feel like I would be in even smaller if I didn't have loose skin. So, or no, I was in a 24 and I went down to a 10. So clearly I am not huge, but I feel huge sometimes. Honestly, when I look into the mirror, I'll even see like shirts and I'll be like, there's no way that shirt's going to fit me. It's going to be way too small. And then it'll like fit me and even be too big. So I feel like it kind of takes a second. I don't know if this is like a full blown, like body dysmorphia disorder or if it's just like my brain needs to catch up to what has happened on the physical outside because I've been overweight my entire life. So for the longest time, I didn't think that I would keep it off. So I literally, I remember up to like losing a hundred pounds, I would lose 40 pounds and I'd be like, no, I'm just gonna gain it right back because that's how it always was. I would lose like a little bit of weight and then it would come right back. And that's why I was always like, I never trusted it. Even though I was 60 pounds down, I'd be like, no. I, I wouldn't be excited about it because I would think that I was gonna gain it back. I haven't gained it back. Here we are a year later after hitting my goal. <laughs> I do feel more in tune with my body and I know when my body needs certain nutrients. So because I've eliminated a lot of inflammatory foods in my diet, I feel like now I'm able to feel in my body when I need more nutrients. Like, okay, I really need to eat some vegetables or I really need some bone broth. Or like my gut feels a little off, so I'm gonna make sure that I'm taking my probiotics this week. So I feel like a lot more in tune with my body. So whenever I was losing weight, I would constantly have to buy new clothes because I lost such an extensive amount of weight. It's like I would drop you know, two pant sizes, I can't keep wearing the same pant sizes. And I was probably losing, in the beginning, I was probably losing around 20 pounds a month. And then it kind of like slowed off and it was more like five and 10 pounds a month. So, which is like a more healthy way to lose it. Yeah, I was constantly having to buy clothes and I felt like it was very expensive. I definitely have loose skin now. So um, I'm probably gonna do a video on this in the future, but I have loose skin on my arms, my boobs, my stomach and my inner thighs. And then I also still have this little double chin which I feel like is kind of loose skin although a plastic surgeon told me if I lose 10 more pounds it'll go away but I don't know if it will but I feel like I had a pretty good double chin whenever I was overweight so I just don't know but that is something that bothers me a lot so then my armpits are also lighter so whenever I was overweight I had darkness like under my armpits and I don't really know why I also had this like ring and um around my neck of like darkness and that is a sign of insulin resistance and pre-diabetes so if you have that I highly suggest trying to lose weight. So I know this is like so random and weird, but you know like how whenever you take out your earrings and there's just like smelly gross crap on it? I have not had that since losing weight, literally at all. I don't even know if this is a thing, but like seriously on my earrings, like my earrings used to smell. Like I remember them smelling, like let's just be honest. I feel like every girl has experienced this. That It never happens now, literally ever. So also my knee bones touch, which I felt like was really weird. My ankle bones touch. And so I don't know, that's just another like random thing where I was like, whoa, like my knees hurt sometimes because I didn't realize that they touched and I would knock them together. <laughs> my lips are way more chapped in the winter. I don't know if this is anything to do with weight loss or not, but I have just noticed that is something my lips never got chapped before. And now I feel like I'm just like this little cold creature with chapped lips, you know? Also, I had really rough elbows. My elbows were just like literally like an alligator. Like I'm not even kidding you. Like it was horrible and you would like feel it like this and it would just be like rough, like so rough. And I don't know why, but it just randomly went away. And then the very last thing is on my arms. And I feel like a lot of you guys know what this is. The bumps all over your arms. I had that for the longest time, like since I was like 10 years old, seriously. I had bumps all over my arms and it's completely gone. And that's actually a sign of gluten intolerance. So it's crazy the way that your body changes and just like the little things that you notice. And I'm sure there's a lot of things that I haven't noticed just because 
so many things changed at one time, you know what I mean? It's just crazy the amount of things that change whenever you lose weight and you wouldn't even think that that would be a thing, you know? That is my video for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you are planning on starting a diet or trying to lose weight or anything in 2020, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have lost weight yourself and you've noticed anything, let me know because I feel like these things are so interesting and so like weird. It's so random. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on the next one very, very soon.